गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सेवन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सेवन इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द लेपिंग लेंथ इन बीम्स कॉलम्स एंड स्लेप सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस टॉपिक विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जांपल सो इट विल बी मोर इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज लेपिंग लेंथ एंड व्हाई वी प्रोवाइड द लेपिंग लेंथ इन द स्ट्रक्चर मेंबर्स सो बेसिकली द लेंथ ऑफ द स्टील बार फ्रॉम द कंपनी दिस इज फॉर एग्जांपल steel bar so the standard length of this length of the steel bar is 12 meter so the companies cannot produce the length more than the 12 meter but if we want to construct a very high rise building or a very long structure of more than 100 meter or 200 meter then what we do we try to overlap the steel bars in order to transfer the load from one steel bar to another steel bar for example this is a steel bar one steel bar and then we connect this with another steel bar and we tie these two bars or overlap these two bars so this is known as the lapping length so this is known as the lapping length where they are joined together so this is lapping length now this lapping length depends on the structure members for beam this lapping length is different for column this is different for slab they are different so basically the lapping length transfer the load from this steel bar to this steel bar they are used to transfer the stresses from one steel bar to another steel bar so this is the reason why we provide the lapping and the beams columns and slab so what is the lapping length for the column the first one is the lapping for columns so What is the lapping length for columns? For columns, the lapping length is usually taken as, for example, this is one steel bar, and this is another steel bar. So the lapping length is usually taken as, this is the lapping length, and this lapping length is usually taken as 45 d, where d is the diameter of the steel bar, diameter of steel bar here. For example, this is a steel bar. So the diameter of this steel bar, multiplying it with 45, you will get the lapping length for columns. So, for example, the diameter of this steel bar is, for example, is 16 millimeter here. So, how to find the lapping length for the column? So, we will do here. We will multiply this 45 with the diameter of the bar, where the diameter is 16 millimeter. So, we will get the overlapping length for this column. which comes out to be 720 mm so it means the lapping length for this column for the steel bar of 16 mm is equal to 720 mm and it should be kept in mind that the lapping length should always be greater than the 75 mm it should never be less than the 75 mm this is the key point which you should keep in mind that overlapping length for the steel bar should always be greater than the 75 mm here in our case we find out for column which comes out to be 720 mm so now what is the lapping length for the beams and slab so for lapping for beams in beams there are two cases for example if i consider the beam here this is in a rectangular beam so here we have compression zone you know that beam is a bending or friction member at the top we have compression and at the bottom we have tension if this is a simply supported beam if this is loaded uniformly distributed load so at the top we have compression and the bottom we have tension so for compression zone we have different overlapping length for compression and for tension we have different overlapping length for the steel bar So for the compression case this is a one steel bar for example and this is another steel bar they are overlapped here this is overlapped so this overlapping length now for the compression zone lapping length is equal to the 24 into d where d is again diameter of the steel bar this steel bar so here in our case for example if we consider the diameter of the steel bar for example is 20 mm So what will be the lapping length for compression it is 24 into d so 
leaping length is equal to the 24 into d where d is 20 millimeter so we got here 480 millimeter so 480 millimeter is the overlapping length for this bars in the compression zone for the tension this formula is 50 into d because we mostly provide the bars for the tension zone in order to take the tensile stresses so that's why the tension leaping zone is the tension leaping length is greater than the compression leaping length so it is for the tension it is if this is one steel bar this is another steel bar this is overlapping and this leaping length is 50 into d so 15 to d for example this is again 20 millimeter diameter of the bar so 20 so sorry so 15 to d means 50 into diameter of the bar die is 20 so we got here 1000 millimeter or we can say one meter so one meter is overlapping length for tension bar now the third one is for the slope so leaping for slope for slope we have one formula used to find out the leaping and this formula is 60 leaping length is equal to the 60 into d where d is again diameter of the steel bar so 60 into d so for example our if this is one bar and this is another bar we overlap this so this overlapping length for the slip is 60 into d or we say if this bar is for example 12 millimeter so this is 60 into 12 because 12 is diameter so we got here 720 millimeter so 720 millimeter is the leaping length for the bar of 12 millimeter when there is when they are used in the slate member so hope you guys understand the different formula used for the determining the leaping and length in beams and columns and slate and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video